Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting video for you guys. In this video, I will talk about a very beautiful Linux distribution. In case of usability, it is very much important and very much useful. The name of this operating system is Gparted Live. Yes, it is based on the Gparted partition editing tool. You know that Gparted is the most advanced partitioning tool. Yes, and I believe that. So in this video, I will talk about that how you can use this Gparted Live operating system from a CD or from a pen drive. And I will talk about all its features, how you can create partition, you can resize partition without data loss, you can delete partitions, you can uh, reco recover uh, files or you can uh, recover uh, deleted partitions, all things I will talk about. And this is Debian based distribution. Okay, so you know that stability is very good. Okay, so without further delay, let's jump into our main topic. And before doing that, you just do one thing, hit the like button, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon to notify of my future videos. Okay, so let's start the video. Now, first of all, I will show you guys that from where you can download the Gparted live ISO. For that, you have to search Gparted and you can see this is the main website of the Gparted. So gparted.org and you can see that very minimal and nice uh, website it is. And this is a screenshot of the Gparted. And from here, you have to go to the live CD or USB. And this is the page for the Gparted live ISO. So you can see this is the live CD or ISO that means you can use it in, in a CD or a USB drive or hard disk also. So basically uh, now uh, now from where you can download it. So just uh, and you can see you can see all the uh, installation instructions uh, have given here and uh, I will uh, talk about that later. Okay, so all things uh, you can you can just uh, see here. Okay, but first of all uh, to download the ISO image you have to click download here. And you can see here that uh, it is it is a, a live bootable image and you can see this is the latest version. Okay, so download Gparted Live 1.4. So now Gparted actually Gparted Live system, here you will get the latest Gparted uh, software. Okay, so the latest version. Okay, Linux distributions, uh, maximum Linux distribution, you know that already have the Gparted pre-built or inbuilt. Uh, uh, but uh, you will not get the latest version, I think. Okay, but here uh, in the Gparted Live, you will get the latest version of the Gparted. Okay, so for the AMD 64, that is 64-bit uh, systems, you you just click here to download and you will go to the SourceForge uh, website okay and from here you can basically directly download the uh, Gparted ISO image and uh, you can see uh, it will redirect you to the thing and you can see uh, download has been started you can basically uh, burn it to a CD uh, or DVD whatever okay because uh, size is uh, very less and also you can uh, make a bootable pen drive and the instructions are given here you can see when you go to the live CD and here uh, you can uh, see the instructions here that uh, Gparted live on USB so basically you can also uh, now you can see now you can make a bootable live USB of the Gparted live uh, by using the net booting or uh, Linux live USB creator. I, I will recommend these two things because uh, these are officially mentioned. Okay, but other ways, uh, you know, uh, you can make a Ventoy uh, pen drive and I have already made a video on that and you can just copy and pasting the uh, ISO file so that you can able to boot. Okay, now talk about the features of the Gparted so you can see that uh, this is the feature so just click here and you can see that what uh, you can make with the Gparted live ISO so you can you can read all the things but I will uh, demonstrate also uh, in, in, in a few minutes okay and this is you can see a, a vast number of a lot of type of uh, uh, file system it supports and you can see and now uh, with the latest version of the Gparted now you can uh, do these things you can see this is the file system type it can detect or not it can read it can create it can grow grow the partition it can shrink the partition it can move or copy the partition and also it can check the partition and make some level and uh, check and uh, change the UUID also now all the file system are mentioned here and you can see uh, th uh, there is a 
right and uh, uh, cross uh, symbol okay so that uh, you can easily uh, easily see that uh, which which one is supported and which one is not now the popular formats are btrfs this is the uh, latest and modern uh, file system uh, used by the uh, garuda linux or uh, fedora based os so this is very much good it is fully supported ext4 this is uh, the default form uh, default file system for the uh, most of the linux distribution it is fully supported and also ext2 ext4 fat32 is very much uh, popular uh, used by the windows system it can detect also and you can see a lot of file system uh, it can detect and uh, you can you can modify create delete partitions you can see this is the ntfs okay it is also uh, used in windows okay and all the things uh, you can see here so gparted is very very advanced partitioning tool and you can see because it supports a lot of file systems Okay, so now let's boot the gparted live system and I have uh, made the uh, gparted live for the virtual box. I have set up in the virtual box and let's start the system. And this booting, this is uh, this is actually I'm using the UEFI booting. So uh, because all the modern computers have the UEFI firmware, so I'm doing this for the UEFI system. But you ha if you have some uh, old old computer, old laptop, so that uh, you 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 have the uh, legacy BIOS, so you can uh, also use this gparted live ISO in that systems very very easily, very comfortably. Okay, so you can see this is the this, these are the menu. Okay, so a lot of menu options are there but i will go uh, to the uh, default settings so just click here now you can see uh, our option uh, has come okay so uh, for the key map so i want to just don't touch the key map and i will go to the default settings so just hit enter and then which language do you prefer now the default is uh, 33 that is the us english and you can also see some other languages here right and so i will just uh, just hit enter for the default english and which mode do you prefer so i want to use the x server that is the graphical user interface okay so just hit enter and you can see this is the this is the uh, operating system this is the live iso of the gparted so you can see this is very minimalistic and very uh, very simple interface and very simple ui this is actually a flux box okay you can see this is the flux box menu okay so this is the flux box and now I can adjust the resolution for my laptop. So just double click here. So now you can see this is the G parted live system. Okay, so very much, uh, very much uh, simple, <laughs> simple desktop you can see here. Now, uh, what software are installed here? I am just showing you guys. Now this is the G parted. This is our main uh, software, main main um, app. This is the G parted, and the functions I will just uh, discuss in no time. So G parted 1.4 uh, it is using. So this is the latest version of the G parted. You can see here. And uh, now I am just uh, right click here in the desktop, and you can see this is the flux box menu. So this is the G parted, and this is the terminal. So uh, this is the terminal uh, with the root privileges and this is the normal uh, user terminal so basically uh, uh, since it is a debian based distribution so uh, all the debian commands uh, you can use here uh, uh, to install uh, software packages you just uh, install the apt command and these are editors so these are the text editors so vi that is the vim or nano this is a text editor and for the file manager and you can see this is the file manager and this is the pc man fm file manager it is using so you can see that right 1.3.2 version and this is the file or system utils that now these are very much important these are very much important tools you can see that now mc is the midnight commander this is a command line uh, file manager and this is the test disk this is very much important and powerful tool this is actually test disk is a uh, a command line driven uh, partition uh, recovery or partition uh, data recovery software you can see i have to make a separate video uh, for the text disk okay uh, basically this is an awesome software uh, you can you can you can see you can recover the lost partitions okay and now within the test disk you have the photo rec i just type uh, photo rec 
photo rack and this is you can see this is the photo rack uh, by this uh, uh, system by this software you can easily recover the permanently deleted files and i have to make a separate video on that and i will make that okay so this is very very powerful software and totally free and open source 100 percent freedom right so this is very much important tool and uh, now coming to the uh, part image you can see and this is the g smart control this is actually uh, and this is a screenshot tool okay and g smart control this is you can analyze your hard disk or ssd and this is a part image and also network configuration now web browser this is a minimal web browser you can see here uh, this is the this is the net surf uh, this is a very minimal browser this is the net surf 3.10 and one calculator is there uh, flux box menu is there okay so you can see uh, now and the exit and the about so you can see uh, this is the uh, flux box 1.3.7 okay it is using basically and now uh, basically uh, i'm just uh, going to the terminal and here i just type u name dash a so you can see this is the linux debian so it is a debian based distribution and the kernel is 6.0 so latest kernel it is using and now i will talk about the gparted uh, software the main software and i will just uh, show you guys that all the operations how you can uh, play with the partitions now since i'm using virtual box so you can see this is the unallocated space uh, 20 gb so i have to first make a partition table okay so I'm just going to device and create partition table. Now you can see if you are using legacy BIOS, use the MS DOS partition, and if you are using the UEFI, so use the GPT format. So I'm going to the GPT and apply. Okay, now you can see uh, this is the unallocated space. Now, now uh, I can create partitions. To create a new partition, just right click here and click new. And here you can see. Now whatever amount I uh, I can give here and you can see this is the this is the new size here uh, the size uh, will be uh, you can also enter the size here also and also you can just uh, drag it to your preferred size so suppose uh, I'm just giving uh, 9000 MB or that is almost 9 GB and now this is uh, I'm just creating a primary partition and the file system type now suppose I am just uh, making a ntfs partition so this is the ntfs okay so you can see a lot of file system are supported ext4 fat32 and all all the thing btrfs and all this all these things are supported you can see and now just uh, and also i can just uh, uh, give a level and suppose i'm just giving it uh, part one i'm just uh, part one so this is name i have given so just add click add and you can see uh, this is this is a preview this is actually uh, not the partitioning have is done uh, you can see this is a preview okay now if you click here that is apply all operations so actually uh, uh, these partition will be written on the disk right so uh, and you can you can do anything uh, before before just uh, applying so that you can get a preview of the of the things that what will be uh, in the what will be in the disk after doing all the operations now to actually uh, make this partition i have to click apply all operations and just i'm applying and it will take some time okay it is very quick okay so you can see a partition has been created now you can format it uh, to the other partition you can see that okay so i can make it btrfs or i can uh, make it ntfs okay so you can format to other partition and you can also manage flags so just uh, you can you can just click here to manage flags and you can see a lot of flag options are there now you know that when you are installing uh, some linux distribution in the uefi firmware so you need a fat32 uh, partition and the flag must be the esp partition so for for that you just click in the esp partition okay and also boot you can see you can see that so you can manage flags uh, by this and now uh, basically i'm just uh, clicking and you can see now resize resize or move and you can see i'm just resizing so i can i can i can shrink the partition so from uh, from uh, 9 mb i'm just uh, going to the 5 almost 5 gb of size i'm giving and now resize 
and now you can see the size is 5 GB and the and, and the other space are going to the unallocated and you can see that right and suppose I want to grow the partition so just uh, I'm just uh, again clicking resize and I can grow the partition also so from uh, and I am just suppose I'm doing 12 GB size and now resize so you can see I uh, I also uh, I can grow the partition and the space uh, it has taken from the unallocated space okay and all the things uh, you just uh, apply all operations so it will be applied and you can see uh, my partition uh, size has increased right I recommend you that to please back up your data uh, if you are dealing with these uh, partitions okay but uh, without loss without data loss uh, you can shrink or you can uh, grow a partition uh, with the G parted definitely now also you can see here that uh, when you go to view and device information just click here so you can see this is the device device information about the disk so you can see this is uh, in the virtual box hard disk and this is the GPT format okay and all the details you can see here and to delete a partition you have to just uh, click right click here and you can just uh, delete the partition so you can see i can delete also and now uh, you can you can undo uh, you can undo the last operation so you can see I, you can undo also and now just right click here and you can also uh, change the name and you can you can check the partition also so uh, uh, check and repair the file system so if you if your file system has some uh, errors or bad sector so you can uh, check and repair the file system and you can set a new uuid okay so you can see and you can you can click here uh, for the uh, for the information so you can see all the information about the about the partition you can see it is not mounted and all the all the instruction all the uh, memory you can see here and flags you can see here so that's all for today i have and if you like this video okay uh, and so hit the like button and subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon and you can also support me by donating through paypal okay so basically you just share my content share my video to your friends and you can help me to grow my channel okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye